morning, everybody. Welcome to Cafe on Tampa Online. This morning, we've got uh, what might be our youngest speaker ever, and we're really excited to have her. Uh, Del, why don't you go ahead and introduce her? Thank you, Bill. And yes, I'm really excited about our program today. Our speaker is Vivian Anderson, uh, mm -hmm. and she's proof that kids make a difference. She's a 10-year-old who's campaigned for women's rights. Vivian, tell us your story. Um, so I was on my way on Dalmatian with my mom to Chipotle, and I saw a sign, and they were working, and, and it said men working, but there was women and men next to it, and I didn't think that was right. So when I got home, I got on my computer, typed a letter, and then in, on December 11th, I sent it, and I got it back on February, I think. And who did you send the letter to? Tell us about that. The mayor of Tampa. Yeah, and then she responded to you, correct? Yes. And then, and then well, you we got... see the signs behind you. Tell us about that. Was um, the outcome? So this one is the one that they changed it to workers present. And then this one was just like a gift. Oh, very good. So now does the city, instead of saying um, men working, are the signs gonna say workers present? Yes. So you're proof that anybody can make change or kids can make a change. Yeah. So what's your next project? I don't know. <laughs> what got you? What got you interested in, in the women's rights movement or the equality movement? When I saw that sign, because I didn't think it was fair. Yeah. So have you seen other signs that you don't think are fair either that you might write a letter to somebody about? Um, not really, because a couple of days ago, when we were coming back from somewhere, I don't know. Um, no, my daddy's friend was coming back from somewhere. And they saw a sign saying workers present. So, and that made me really happy. Awesome. Now you just have to go to all the other cities that have the other sign and get them to change it too, huh? Yeah. <laughs> Tell us about your helmet. It looks like it's signed. Did the mayor sign it? Yes. It's my helmet and it says Vivian, thank you. And it signed by Mayor Bing. Awesome. It looks like she signed this the sign behind you too, right? The um the uh the workers president sign. Yeah, she said, Vivian, I am very proud of you, girl power, and then her signature. What do you think you want to do when you grow up? I want to either be a soccer player or what? be mayor. Awesome. So you're interested in politics? A little. I mean, sometimes. Vivian, are you there? It sounds like it. Uh, you might have frozen. Vivian, you cut out just for a second. Can you answer that question again? You said sometimes. Sometimes I get a little bored when my mom talks about it, but um, uh, it's okay. Yeah, we nope. just say her, her mom is a professor at University of Tampa, political science, who helps us get UT students. And so we appreciate her support too. Vivian, introduce your mom to us. Uh, this is my mom. No. Mary Anderson. <laughs> morning. Good morning. Hope everyone is having a beautiful day. So what other issues are you interested in? What else would you like to change in the world? Um, whenever, um, maybe I'll see something new. Um, I mean, we're going to the beach this weekend, so I might see something there. Yeah, awesome. Um, and and you you said that you um, you have seen some other signs that you want to change. What else? Um, what else related to the women's rights movement or equality movement? What would what would you like to see different than it is right now? Um, I just think that women should be treated the same as men. Great. Yeah, I get a bang going off on my phone. Um, 
Well, Dell, do you have any other questions? Well, tell us, about you. I know you're in school. Tell us what school you're going to and if you're online or if you're in person. Um, I go to Roosevelt Elementary School and I'm in person. And what's your favorite subject? Reading and writing. Oh, so have you written anything? Not yet. We've written like short paragraphs, but nothing really a full like story. Do you have a student government at your school yet? Or you, I think you might be too young for that. Is there any kind of um, activism that you can get involved in at work at school? I mean, not really. Not really. When you get older. Um, so we're, so are you play soccer all the time. You, you think you're going to, um, you're going to try to become a, um, like a major league soccer player. Yes. Awesome. Do are you on a team now? Um, yeah, I play for TBU. Um, yeah. <laughs> so that street sign behind you, is that going to be a real street? That, or that's a sign that you have in your house, right? I think that's just a sign I have in my house. Yeah. But probably one day you'll get something like that, right? <laughs> yeah. You no, know, there are lots of, um, lots of uh, groups that promote women's rights, like Athena. You should go speak at one of those groups sometime, because I'm sure you would be a hit. Um, <laughs> Well, we promised her mom that we wouldn't go very long because she's actually skipping school right now so that we could do this. Please, uh, Cafe on Tampa folks, please hit uh, the like button and hit, hit the share button. Uh, we do this as a public service uh, for the community. And we're really excited about your activism and, and the success you've gotten. I mean, with, with one letter, and do you have the letters with us? Can you show us what the letters look like? Yes, I have the letter. I think this is the one I sent. Can yeah. you read it to us? Um, yes. It says, Dear Mayor Caster, on Wednesday 11th, 2019, me and my mom were going to Chipotle and we saw a construction sign and it said men working. But next to it, there, there was men and women working. Me and my mom both believe that the sign should say workers present. I hope you consider my idea of changing the sign. Sincerely, Vivian M. Anderson. Very you good. Your response? Um, yes, it says, thank you for, thank you for writing to the city of Tampa about the men working sign. You saw in the construction zone, we agree that the wording on the sign should be more inclusive. We aren't sure exactly who was using the sign when you saw it, but it was most likely a private contractor and not a city crew. We have checked our signs and used the, and used the ones shown attached to the, the drivers about workers in the area to help make sure other crews are doing the same. We have reminded our permit and inspection staff about more acceptable sign options. Great, and for anybody who hasn't seen, I, I forgot to load the picture, but if you haven't seen it, go to the invitation or the event on Cafe Con Tampa's Facebook page and you'll see, um, you'll see the picture of her with uh, Mayor Castor and crew. And sorry, um, show us that, you wanna show us that picture again? Yeah. And you wanna read this song about honoring you? Tell us about it. Read Tell me of one more letter. I have one more letter. Okay, great. Um, it says the city of Tampa Mobility Department is pleased to share the Tampa's Mayor Jane Castor and Miss Sarah Finney, traffic anchor, ABC Action News, would like to honor you for your wonderful suggestion that construction zone display signage and ensure inclusivity. Please request that your parent that your parents or legal guardian contact my assistant. <laughs> That's awesome. Well, on that note, we need to let you get back to school. Any final thoughts or suggestions? Any anything you want to do to challenge the rest of the world? No. Kids can make a difference. Uh, I mean, by the way, she wrote her own title, Kids Making a Difference. So thank you very much. Uh, we look forward to tracking you and, and please uh, let us know in the future if you'd like to come back and speak. And thank you for inspiring all of us to keep working on important issues like this. Thank you.